Energize show up the Irish. Okay, what's going on, guys, and welcome to a brand new episode of Energize the Face Off. Ross, introduce the guest, man. Today we have the main event of Cage Legacy 16. It is for the Flyway Women's Title between Shauna, Mama B, Bannon, and Chia Toe. Guys, how are we doing? Good. I'm how great. Thanks. I'm doing great, Ross. Thanks, man. Oh, unbelievable stuff, unbelievable stuff. Uh, Shauna, here we are again. Uh, another cage legacy, another main event, and another title. How does it feel? Great, brilliant, buzzing for it. Can't wait. And then, um, Chi, how do you feel going in against Shauna? Obviously, she has, she has a lot of hype now since turning pro. You're 3 0 coming in here. You've been very active with three fights in the last 12 months. How are you feeling coming into this? Yeah, I feel great too. I can't wait. I'm really excited. Buzz, the, what's called, the, I must say, Cage Legacy shows are always an absolute banger. Uh, Deck and Kenna has them hopping from from the first bell to the last. How excited are you for another Cage Legacy? Ross, uh, I'm absolutely buzzing for Cage Legacy. We were just saying to the girls, the best promotion in Ireland. And, yeah. uh, it's great to see yeah, women's sure. MMA. It's great to see women's MMA getting a huge push. Uh, this is actually be Shauna's third main event in a row in Cage Legacy, and she is now stepping in mm-hmm. to fight for the title as well. So it is going to be unmissable in the Pillow Hotel in Ashburn on the t- on the 10th of June. If you want to get tickets, you go on to Shauna's Instagram. If you want to get tickets, go on to Chi's Instagram. Ross, take it away, bud. Um, Chi, for those who aren't familiar uh, in the Irish scene with yourself, um, what can we expect from you on the night? And can you tell us a small bit about your background? Um, yeah, sure. Fans can expect for me to push the pace as much as I can and obviously definitely use some of my grappling knowledge to get the win. Um, sorry, what was the second question? Um, just, um, you know, your MMA journey, how, how you got into it a little bit oh. and uh, where, where you're at today. Oh, yeah, I started with jujitsu. Um, I just started training jujitsu and I really liked it. And then I decided to start training kickboxing as well. And then from there, I just gravitated towards MMA. And I, I couldn't really see any amateur fights on your career. Did you have any amateur fights? Did you go straight <laughs> into the pro? No, I didn't have any amateur fights. What happened was um, I was training for my first fight and then um, COVID happened. So I couldn't really train that much. So I decided to go back to Nigeria for a while. And while I was there, my coach there uh, offered me a fight and he didn't tell me it was professional until a few days before the fight. So by then it was too late to back out. So that's just how I started. Um, that's how I got my first MMA fight. I thought you were going to say you you did I thought you was, I thought you were going to say you, you didn't tell you till after the fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I would have even rather that. I would have rather him not even tell me at all. When he told me it was pro, I was like, "What? You're telling me this now, like three days before the fight?" And he was like, "Yeah, I just didn't. He 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 didn't want me to know because he knew I would be a bit nervous. But he he felt I was ready for it. So that's just how it happened. Well, it's Shana, that's what you like to hear. Shana, you like to you like to go against anyone who's game. Yeah, 100%. At least you didn't pull out and you went for it. Fair play. Yeah. No, I wasn't going to pull out. It was too late at that stage. Yeah, and look at it this way. It's worked out for you so far. You've gone 3-0. and um, I, I, mm. I, As far as I can see, all, all three of your fights have been in Africa. How do you feel about your first fight yeah. being in Ireland? Um. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I can't, I'm really looking forward to it. And and then Shauna, you uh, fought in front of a, a packed out uh, show last time out. Uh, are you going to bring as many people this time around as well? Yeah, I don't know if the demand for tickets has been as high because it is kind of well, it's not a hike, but it's a little bit further. But there's still at least a hundred coming. And um, do you feel like you'll be in any more territory here, Chi? Do you think uh, you know, or will that bother <laughs> you? enemy territory no not at all my first mma fight i was also in the other girl's hometown she had a huge crowd behind her so um no i have no feelings about it it doesn't it doesn't make a difference to me 
I'll be happy to see everyone as long as they're all supporting women's MMA. Doesn't make a difference to me. We're all we're all in this together. There's no enemies here. Yeah, That's you, exactly, you'll, find, yeah. you'll find um you'll you'll find it hard to get bigger proponents of women's MMA than the Energy Show. Uh, we, we like to keep it uh, uh, as much in the forefront of um the Irish scene as much as possible. Um, Shauna, yeah, Shauna, you've you've gone pro now. You've gone one no. What do you make of Chi as an opponent? Yeah, she's um a very experienced grappler. So um that's exactly what I need to be challenged um there because obviously my striking is there as well. So yeah, she's she's a good grappler. I haven't really seen much of her to be honest. There's not much online, so all I can go by is what mm-hmm. I've seen on the grappling and the little events online. But yeah. Baz, uh, do you do you think that uh, Cage actually do a great job of really pushing um, women's MMA to the forefront? Uh, this is, I think, the only time I've ever seen in Irish MMA where we've had women in the main event back to back events, back to back to back. Ross, uh, yeah, like I mean, if you're even looking at the card now, like Nadine Abbott is going to be fighting on the card as well. Uh, the notorious Karen Dog's going to be on the oh. card as well. Like, there's a lot of women going to be on this card, and it's uh, it's great. Like, we've been in contact with. Nearly all the fighters fighting on the card, and everyone's really looking forward to it on June 10th, Ross, in the Pillar House Hotel, Ashburn. Not to be missed. Not to be missed at all. Um, Shauna, after this one, where did you see your next steps? Because I know the phone's been busy and you've had a few offers. Do you, do you feel like this could be your last time out in Cage Legacy and you'll be on to more of a worldwide or regional uh, promotion? Yeah. Yeah, I think um, I'll be heading to America after this one. Um, oh. and what, cool. what about yourself what about yourself Chi would you like to see um, if you got a win here see yourself on one of the bigger stages in the world Um, yeah yeah if that if it happens like that that would be awesome but I just I just want to fight I just want to compete I'd be happy to compete anywhere Baz the, the humbleness and respect with these two women is great the, 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 you know what like every time you face <laughs> off what's called I'd say 90% of the time you, afterwards you're like oh you know what I, I like that person to win Jeez, these two are both, both absolutely lovely the respect the respect is real um, yeah I've actually sorry to cut you off there um, just what you were saying about the respect I've been following Shauna for a while now and I think she's a great athlete so whenever I was asked to fight her I was I was really really happy about it I was over the moon because she's she's one of the main girls in MMA in Ireland so it's an honor for me to fight her, really. I've been watching her career for a long time now. Sean, you hear that? What do you think? Oh, no, that, that's really nice. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. And um, Shauna, obviously last last time out, you, you, you made the trip over to Liverpool to a friend of yours, Molly McCann. Will there be any more uh, trips? We mix up any of the training partners uh, for this camp? Yeah, I think we're heading over to her uh, next week or the week after, me and Karen Doc. Lovely. Yeah, um, with Molly. Yeah, uh, if she's back from San Diego. She's over living her best life back. at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think she's she's back tomorrow or something, I think. So yeah, we'll probably be heading over next week or the week after. We we're looking at flights said last week, so guess I'm trying to more her. It's always good rounds with her. Shout out Molly. Yep, um, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And um and Choi, oh, sorry, Chi, will you be bringing Paddy the Paddy the Baddy Paddy Pimlet over, will you? <laughs> no, I don't even know him. <laughs> no, he's best mates with Molly McCann. I just thought. Oh, oh, I didn't get the joke. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave. I'll leave. Don't worry about that. Crash and burn. Crash and burn. Uh, yeah. Chi, how did you end up in Team Tara's, by the way, training for this camp? Yeah. Um, I used to live, I actually started jujitsu in Dublin when I was working there. And then I decided to move back home to Dundalk. And that's when I, I joined Team Torres. Lovely. And um, what are the bodies like up there for you? And how, oh, how is training camp um, going? No, they just kill me. They honestly kill <laughs> me. And after every training session, I feel so shit about myself. <laughs> no, honey, joking. <laughs> no, they just <laughs> they, they work me really, really hard. And, you know, it's 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 what I need. It's it's what's going to help me at the end of the day. And they're all so much bigger than me. So, um, yeah, I, I just, I do my best. There's not really much girls that I can train with at the moment. So, um, 
that's just the only kind of downside but other than that it's brilliant I love training with them they bring out the best in me and I hope I bring out the best in them too yeah and she obviously with uh your fighting champs coming up there which is massive in team Torres, uh half the half the gym lead fighting do you feel find it easier mm-hmm. now that half the gym is in fight camp do i what sorry do, do you find it easier getting ready for this fight that most oh, of the gym is in fight easy. camp yeah yeah definitely because we can all relate to each other we're all going through the same emotions and we're all going through the same pressures and stresses so yeah it's definitely easier yeah and then Shauna, just to touch base, uh, obviously it, it's it's hard to talk about Shauna Bannon without talking about Sarah Carney. Uh, you'll both be fighting on the same card on this occasion. Will that make you any more nervous for her fight? And you know, will that play any effect? Um, I don't be nervous for Sarah fighting because I know she's an animal, but like, there's definitely the emotions towards that. I probably won't watch the fight. Being All honest, right. I probably won't watch it. I'll probably just stay in the back. I know she's gonna win anyway, so I'll just watch it after. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, it, it it is definitely another one to to watch out for. Basmo, uh, a- any other thoughts on on this scrap before we get a prediction from the gals? No, oh, the countdown is well and truly on for the sixteenth of June in the Pella House Ashburn. As I said as well, if you want to get tickets, make sure make sure to go on Cheese Instagram. Make sure to go on Sean Bannon's Instagram. This is just another big night for Irish MMA and women's MMA, especially Ross. Yeah, it really, really is. Um, Chi, how do you see yourself getting your hand raised here and becoming the flyweight champion of Cade Legacy? Um, I think the path to victory for me is to definitely use my grap- my grappling knowledge. Um, I'm going to be looking for the takedown, looking for the submission. Um, so I see it. I, I see me either getting the submission win or a decision win. And Shauna, what about yourself? How do you see yourself becoming uh, the first ever woman in Cage Legacy history to get that champ champ status? <laughs> champ champ champ. <laughs> 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 um, there's definitely going to be a finish, whether it's high or low, on the ground or up. Um, I'm confident that I'll get a finish either way. Basmo, this one really well and truly is not to be missed. Uh, Cage Legacy, it, it's a party and a fight night every single time. Uh, it, it really is one of the best shows that the country has to offer. And I can't wait for it. I'm sure you can't either. No, Ross, like it's always great crack going to the events. Like Declan does a great job. And like the way everyone interacts with it, the fans, the, every, the place is just going to be on absolute wheels, Ross. Uh, girls, I just want to wish you both the best of skill. Like I know you're facing each other, but like I want to thank you both for coming on. And hopefully after this, you become best friends after this. But uh, is there anything <laughs> yeah. you want to say to each other before you take on each other at Cage Legacy 16 on the 10th of the 6th? Just best to look at the um, rest of your training camp. Yeah, same, same to you. And best of luck with your career as well. Wish you all the Thanks best. Thanks so much. Thanks, Gareth. There you have it, Bosmo. Cage Legacy 16, the 10th of June. Here we go. Be there, be square. Um, I'm sure there'll be a pay-per-view link to watch the bell for those who can't make it. If you have watched this video, make sure to give it a like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to make sure you do not miss any Energize content. And as always, stay Energized. Stay Energized. energized. energized show up the Irish. Been sussing you guys a couple of times. I've seen a couple of clips. I think you've done some interviews with Dylan Moran and that I, I, I saw. So keep going. Keep up the good work, guys.